Once upon a time, in another land far from the castle, there was once a farmer who had three sons. One day, when the boys were going to manhood, he said to them, My sons, it is now time that you will all get married. Tomorrow, I wish for you to go out in search for brides. But where shall we go? I thought of that too. Do each of you chop down a tree and go where the fallen tree points. That suits me. For he knew that in the North Lane, a farm where a very pretty girl lived. That suits me. The second son declared thinking of a girl that he had often danced with who lived on a farm to the south. We have to go to go courting one of the wolf girls or the foxes. Oh, my lovely Agatha. Thomas. Oh, my lovely Agatha. How I long for you. How sweet of you, Thomas. I am here for a proposal. Can you be my bride? It's my pleasure, Thomas. Oh, Vanessa, my love! My sweetheart, Vanessa, my love. How I long for you to be mine. How sweet of you, Troy. I came here for a proposal. Would you accept me? As your husband? It would be my pleasure, Troy. How can I find a bride? Where no human creatures live at all. There's nobody here! Why, Vecco? I'm here. I was hoping to find a sweetheart. The two younger ones are finding sweetheart easily enough, but I don't see how I can off in this forest. See here, Vecco. Why don't you take me for your sweetheart? <laughs> but you're only a mouse. Who ever heard a man having a mouse for a sweetheart? Take my word for it, Vecco. You could do much worse than have me for a sweetheart. Even if I am only a mouse, I can love you and be true to you. Very well, well, little mouse. I'll take you as a sweetheart. Mine as the rosy sturdy cheeks. And mine has the straightest, most beautiful hair. What's the matter, Veko? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't laugh. I found a sweetheart. She is a gentle, gently little thing. Gowned in white. Gowned in white? Just like a princess? Yes, gowned in white, just like a princess. When she sits and sings to me, I'm perfectly happy. Well, now I would like to know what your sweethearts are capable of. Of them bake a loaf of bread for me so that I could know how good of a housewife they are. Mine will be able to bake bread. I'm sure of that. So will mine. What about the princess? Do you think she can bake bread? I don't know, but I have to ask her. Agatha! My sweet Thomas! My father asked for a loaf of bread. Would you be so kind to make one for me? I would do so, my darling. Thomas! Here it is! I appreciated it, my darling. It's my pleasure, my darling.
My father asked for a loaf of bread. Would you be so kind to make one for me? I would do so, Troy. Here it is, my love. I appreciate it. I'm so glad to see you. I knew you would come back. My father wants each of our sweethearts to bake him a loaf of bread. If I come home without a loaf, my brothers will laugh at me. You won't have to go home without a loaf. I can bake bread. I never heard a mouse who can bake bread. Well, I can. Each of you, go fetch me a grain of the finest wheat. Very good for hardworking people like us, toasted bread is good. Oh, this bread is good too. What? White bread? Vicus, sweetheart, must be of wealth. Of course. Didn't he tell us that she was a princess? Say, Veko, when a princess wants a white flour, how does she get it? She rings a silver bell, and when her servants arrive, she asks grain of the finest sweet. Each girl's baked a loaf of bread in their own way. I want one further test for them. Let them each send me a sample of their weaving. We'll see how her ladyship fears this time. Darling Agatha! Thomas! My father asked for a sample of your weaving. Would you be so kind to make one for me? I would do so, my darling. My darling! Here it is! I appreciated it so much. It's my pleasure, my darling. My father asked me a sample of your weaving. Would you be so kind to make one for me? I would do so, Troy. Here it is, my love. I appreciate it. Oh, there you are at last. Are you really glad to see me, little mouse? Indeed I am. Am I not your sweetheart? I've been waiting for you and waiting, just wishing that you would return. Does your father want something more this time, Vako? A sample of your weaving. I can't believe you can weave. I never heard of a mouse who can weave. Of course I can weave. It would be a strange thing if Vako's sweetheart couldn't weave. Go each of you and get me a fiber of flax, the finest there is. Here, Vako, I hope your father will like it. Not so fun, but it's okay. A little better. Why, Vako, has your sweetheart not given you a sample of her weaving? Oh, Veko, my boy, how did your sweetheart find a good web like this? She rang a silver bell and ordered her servants to bring her the fibers of finest flax. They did so. 
Well, it's now time to bring your sweethearts tomorrow. Fairy witch, I am afraid that Veko isn't really in love with me. What should I do? I've already baked him a loaf of bread and gave him a sample of my weaving. I doubt it is enough to make him fall for me. What should I do next? Should I go back to the hut or wait for him to find me? Then if it's true love, he'll find me. Mercy me, what's that? Ha <laughs> ha! What have you done? What have you done? You kicked my poor little sweetheart! You poor little mouse, how sorry I am that you have been kicked. You are a faithful loving sweetheart. You were not ashamed to have me for a sweetheart when I was a mouse. And truly now that I'm the princess of God, you won't desert me. A mouse? Are you the mouse? Yes, I was the little mouse under an evil enchantment which will never help you. If another human being had kicked me, now the enchantment is broken forever. So come, we will go to your father, and after he has given us his blessing, we will get married. Is our brother Veko? Yes, brothers, I'm Veko, and this is my princess that I'm going to marry. A princess, did you say? Koya Veko, mercy me! Where did you find a princess? Out in the forest with my tree pointed. Well, well. Were your tree pointed? I've always heard that was a good way to find a princess. Just our luck, oh, if only our trees had pointed to the forest, <laughs> we to have princesses instead of plain country benches.
Oh my dear daughter, how long for you. We knew it was you. Do you, Veiko, take your sweetheart as your wife? Yes, we do. As for you, Veiko's sweetheart, do you take Veiko as your husband? Yes, I do. Loving you was never planned on at all until I found myself looking for you. You're that sweet little mask who offered to be my sweetheart and now you're here to be my part. I will love you unconditionally and I will continue loving you. I will love you until God takes my last breath. Sweetheart, you are the best example of true and unconditional love. I have doubted, for I thought a little mouse like me before wouldn't take your seriousness. But I was wrong. You love me unconditionally, even in my cursed state. I will continue loving you until that do us part.